thank you ladies and gentlemen, countrymen and women. I'm by the name of Pio Albino Ronald, the National Youth Chair, NEET Uganda, Chairperson Youth, Lake Agago District Local Government for La Pono Sub County, and uh, a bona fide member and a resident of La Pono Sub County in Agago District, Agago County in Northern Uganda. Ladies and gentlemen, for all this long we we have been staying like orphans in our own country, in our own homeland. We have not been in peace as the district for more than 30, 40 years since the emergence of this government. A Gago district as a whole has never been stable, has never been in peace. In 1987, a real saga happened, a real raids happened in the district where people lose over 400,000 herds of cattle in the hand of so-called Karamojong. But lately we realized that that was not Karamojong. According to one of the statements from a very land person and someone serving the government in a higher position said that cattle we lose was not to the Karamojong but to the government, the Henare soldiers. But currently as we talk, the government of Uganda under the leadership of His Excellency U.N. Kakuta Museveni and his army generals, we have entered into a war of land grabbing. Agaga has never been part of the land saga, as we hear in other places like Balalo, in Amoro, Balalo, in Nwaya, Balalo, in Guru district. Agaga has kept their land because it's our ancestral land, it's a customary land, and we value our land. We still have chunk of land in Agago that people are cultivating. But as we talk now, in 2021, Agago voted 75% NRM. All the leadership, the opposition leadership that we had in the district were all voted out and replaced with the NRM leaders. And as we talk, we have a minister for national economic, I think, evaluation, monitoring. That is Minister Kelo Beatrice Akori. We have three other MPs because we have three constituencies. Three other MPs who are all NRM. We have district shares who are all NRM. Majority of the district councils are all NRM. But as we talk now, we have different challenges of land. Yesterday, let me say last week, a team from National Forest Authority went to Agago claiming that the over 3,000 hectares of land belongs to National Forest Authority as a forest reserve gazetted in 1948 and so many people will be evicted from that land and this came after realization that there is a mineral there is gold and mercury around Napono Hill one of the biggest hill in uh, in, in Agago today as we talk the commun the area is flooded by soldiers and over 20 20 double new cabin cars and then five lorries of soldiers taken to the place and they are they are not talking to people, they are in the bush, we don't know what they are doing and people are staying under mystery and, and under too much fear. They cause insecurity. In the recent five months back, there was a lot of insecurity in Agago. After insecurity, another professor came in the name of Paris to market. They need over 200,000 hectares of land and they are, forced, they are grabbing it forcefully and they are using their literates. That is the current status. We call upon the leaders. We call upon the RDC. We call upon the district leadership, members of parliament. We call upon the, the prime minister. We are all human. If they need resources in our land, they should follow the right procedure, not forcefully evicting people, not forcefully sending soldiers to scare the population. And we shall stand by that. We shall not accept anyone to play around with our land because our ancestors are buried in that land. Thank you so much.